G'day everyone, welcome back to another Outcast Anglers video. We're at uh, Ben Chifley Dam today in Bath near Bathurst. Uh, it's a bit overcast, pretty windy, it has been raining, but yeah, we'll chuck some worms in, flick a few lures about, and see what we can't get. Right, eh? They're all set up. We've got one eighth of an ounce jig head with a Strike Tiger grub tail in blue steel colour. Uh, I've got a couple of worms on that rod there with a bell. Just really, I've never really fished this dam, so just kind of see what's out there. It's supposed to be really good cod, yellow belly, brown trout, rainbow trout, silver perch, you know, all the native stuff. So I'll just throw this soft plastic about and see if anything's on the bite. But I think pretty similar to Karkor, they released a fair few good sized rainbow trout here a couple of weeks ago so hopefully we can make something happen hopefully we can get some yellow belly on the on the worms that'd be cool haven't caught one of them in a while Weed, a little bit of a weed bed there. So, a lot of redfin in this dam too. A lot of redfin. I don't know if I'm fishing second hand water or not. There's a couple of people just. About 50 metres up from me. There is a really good spillway over there that um, I might go and try if I don't do any good here. Some people caught some really good yellow, yellow belly out of the spillway. Um, but it goes, it spills off into a into a river system. I don't actually know if that, if I catch a trout out of that, if that classes as being out of season. But if we do, we'll just chuck them back. Won't keep them out of the water too bad. Good indication of what bait to use here. There's some little pippies or freshwater mussels here on the bank. Good indicator. Very quiet. <clears throat> Only had that one good hit on the worms. Just re-rigged it, loosened the drag off a bit and I might walk this bank a little bit, keep an ear out for the bells. But nothing on the soft plastic, just weed beds. Just trying to keep a good eye on that bait rod. I don't have the best hearing in the world, so the wind's blowing the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I'm on. There we go, little. Oh, he's off. There he goes. Little red fin. 
Maybe because the school had it. Not that. Found a new spot. There's the cabins and everything over there. It's not the spillway, but it looks alright. Close to that sort of wall there. Hopefully, produce a bit of fish. Someone's fishing spot anyway. There's line and stuff everywhere. Be a good sign. Anyway, we'll get a worm out there and see how we go. I think I'm having a touch on the worms there. They mean little touches, but oh, there's so much weed. Definitely something playing with it. Twenty red feet, I'd say. It's not very deep here, so don't expect it to be anything drastic. Let's put that back on and wait for a big hit. Oh yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a trout of some description. Oh, he's playing well. Oh, where's my net? Come on. Come on. What have we got? Lovely little rainbow. That's cool. That's cool. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's a good size. Perfect eating size. I'm just trying to. Oh, there's there goes the hook. How funny. Oh, he's tagged. How cool. Oh, come here. That's my first ever tagged fish. How cool. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down. I calm down. Right, okay, let's get rid of that and see if we can't get a read on this. Clean hands. Try and be quick. That's cool. Right, okay. let him swim in the net again. Awesome on the board, that's cool. Let's see if we get another one. Right hey everyone, that's it. It's getting too windy and cold now. Um, been chiefly. Only got the one trout, <clears throat> a couple of redfin, but I'm pretty happy with that. I've never fished this dam before, so it was good to get something. Um, but yeah, we'll. Uh, wrap it up. I might chuck a, a bit of footage at the end of this video 
of another trout I got at Karkor Dam the other day. It was the only fish we got fishing with a mate, with Jado. But um, yeah, I didn't bother making a, a full video because we only got the one fish. So I might chuck that in the end of this one. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the footage. And yeah, hopefully we'll get onto some more fish. See ya. Nice trout, nice trout. Yep, missed the hook up, but. You video? Yep. Beautiful. Oh yeah, he's fighting. On the two inch curl tail grub, the blue steel. Oh, come on, mate. Well, he's not done yet. <laughs> Jeez, he's got some power. He's cool. Oh! <laughs> That's it. Awesome. Cool. He's nice. We got a brag mat this time. Get a measure on him. Yeah, I'll take this off. Cool. I also figured out, courtesy of uh, Robbie Alexander, from Robbie Fishing, if you don't follow him, go and follow him. He's got some cool stuff on his channel. But the lip grips I have, you can actually weigh your fish, and I never knew that. So that's pretty cool with that. Oh, sit down, big fella. He still wants to go. He wasn't getting off right in that top lip. Oh, he's just destroyed that hook though. Oh, he's a big fish. Oh. Let's see. 58 on the dot. There he is. Cool. Get me lip grips and see if I can't get a weight. Oh no, mate. Calm down, mate. I'm sorry. What is he? Two pound, two and a half pound. That's pretty cool. Get him back. See if we can't get some underwater footage. Can you give us a hand, Jada? Work the camera. It's on still. Go, go underwater. Are you ready?